Hello, good to see you. Welcome back to Non-League and Beyond Wayne FFC. It's episode 70. It's the opening game of the season and we're going to kick off against my team, Tottenham. If you've not seen the last episode, please go check that out because it is a transfer special and we do have some new players in. And I'm really looking forward to the season. I think we've made some really good signings. I feel this could be a special season. But then again, I might have said that last season. Let's try and hope we can finish in the top 10. I'm not looking for 10th spot. I'm looking for a, a top 10 finish, hopefully qualify for Europe because that is the aim. That's the goal overall. And like I said, we've got some really good players and we spent a lot of money. We're playing Tottenham and Bournemouth. So it's going to be an interesting, interesting episode. I feel we could get at least four points out of this. I think that's what we should be aiming for. Point against Tottenham. Three points against Bournemouth. That would be the aim. Normally when you bring a load of new players in, dynamics get hit hard. But this time around, Club Atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. Manager support is okay. Uh, team cohesion is a little bit low. No one's unhappy. So that's amazing. Finances wise, uh, we've got 1 million to spend and we're about 140, 130k under the ways budget. So all in all, not bad at all. What team are we going to put out to play Tottenham? Bill, we're gonna, I'm going to go with this. Up front is the biggest issue. Who to play up front? Uh, was it going to be Sudoku? Was it going to be the new guy? If I can find him, Berquin, uh, Wilfred. I don't know. I don't know. I still don't know now. If I'm honest with you, I feel I'm going to go with Sudoku because he just because he knows the rest of the players. He's played before. Maybe Berquin. Just put him in now and again just to get him used to it and then he'd be the new number one i think that's the only thing about the transfer window special he's got a lot of acceleration i'm gonna put him up front that's the only thing about the transfer window special we really needed a striker but in the end i run out of money uh have we placed anila with a better enough a good enough striker that's the main issue uh ollie johnson translisted him he's still on his way out and i'm still waiting for someone to come in for lanzini to loan him out uh i think this is going to a really good team i'm I'm looking forward to see how we do against Tottenham. We're going to go with Guerrero, Newell, Cortez, Murphy, Samed, DiMaggio, Brito, Denise, Ibrahimovic, Fuentes, Berquin. And will if Murphy doesn't turn up this season, if he doesn't turn up this season, I'm going to sell him. I look at 6.44, 6.2, 6.62. It's just not good enough. It's not good enough. So not that I'm blaming him. I am. But uh, yeah, if he doesn't turn up this season, I think we've really got to look to shift them on. But this is it. Tottenham. A real, real good test. And like I say, I'm looking for a point. We are at home, so really is a point good enough? We should be looking for all three points. But it is Tottenham. I think they're still a good team in the future. Wearing my Tottenham shirt. Being prepared for this. Uh, we're going to play, like I say, 4-2-3-1. Still going to go with this formation and see how we get on. You know how it's going to be like halfway through when most we change it a few times. Uh, and I still need to do the face packs. The faces. Kulaveski's still at Tottenham. Surprise. Uh, yeah, I still need to do them. I do apologise. I keep saying it every time. I'll do it for the next episode. I'll do it for the next episode. And then I literally run out of time. Too many tactic tests. If you're not too many tactic testing series, please go check it out. So far, it's a very quiet start and we've had 22 minutes in. Not much going on. But now, this could be the chance that we've all been waiting for. Good finish. It is the chance we've all been waiting for. 24 minutes on the clock. We've taken the lead. So far, I've not seen anything. So I don't know how good we are. We're still... I think we're 17th. Season preview to finish 17th. So I still don't know how good we really are. Tottenham, I can't remember what their season preview was. Going to throw out some praise because I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this as well. More possession. But it's, that was quick. That was real quick. You're doing well. That what you're doing so well. I blinked and missed it. Uh, I love it. I love it when it's quick, but I don't mind. <laughs> when you're one no up, I don't mind. When it's a long game, where you're under the caution, it's like three or four, and you just want to hold on. You just want it to end. Because you've had, you've had enough. You can see too many goals. But this, when you're one no up, and it goes real quick, that I don't mind that at all. Keep that coming. So far, Cortez as well. He's played well. Samed at right back. Doing well as well. Just uh, do we change up a little bit? Positive. I mean, I did say I would take a point here. But now we're in the lead. You want all three points. Newell down the left-hand side. Newell! Brito. It's all right. 
Don't no one panic. Don't stress out, Tony. It's okay. It's only a computer game. Come on, lads. Close him down. Good tackle. Cortez, really good. Oh, he could be special. He could be special. I'm loving this so far. Good hassle. Denise has had a really good game. Unlucky with the finish. He's had a really good game so far. Let's pause it there. I tell you something, we so miss Fuentes. At the end of the season, breaking his I think he broke his leg and he was out for so long. Really, really missed him. Uh today he's got to come off though, because I feel like uh he's not had a great game and he just could do <laughs> could do with a rest. It's his first game back for such a long time. Left back Newell as well. I'm gonna bring on uh comma. And what else am I thinking? I'm gonna go to do quite front as well. Gave the guy 75 minutes, 74 minutes. We just needed more shots on target. One shot on target. Come on, lads. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. Defensively, so far, pretty strong. But have I spoken too soon? And I fucking... And I have. Basically, I have spoke too soon. Defensively, we've been pretty strong. We've not seen anything from Tottenham. A free kick. Who are we blaming? Who's next to Ebra? But he's a defect. Go on. Come on. Poor pass. We should pick this back up though. Murphy. Come on. Murphy. What was that? We're trying. The press is real good. Real good press. We're really pressing really hard. Ebra. Ref linesman's running back. I think this could be offside. Let's hope it's not though. Please. I want to see it again. Is it going to be a poor angle though? Yeah, but it didn't go to him. He was running. He left it. Are oh, you you're joking me now? One shot though. That's the only that's the only problem. One shot on target. Okay, it's not such a bad start. It's what I was hoping for. Sympathise, continue. It, it, it wasn't too bad. Now let's get to the Bournemouth game. So there's only one change for the Bournemouth game. It is going to be Comma coming in for Newell. Only reason being I've accepted an offer. 24.5 million it says, but then there's some add-ons as well. So it's about 30 million worth. And I feel I need to sell him to get a better striker. I'm not too sure. If this guy is going to be good enough. But then again, I don't know if there's a striker out there. And will I, is Comma better than your left back? So many questions and I need to know the answer. So we're going to play him at left back today. So we're going to go Guerrero, Van Comma, Cortez, Murphy, Samed, DiMaggio, Brito, Denise, Ibrahimovic, Fuentes, Berquin up front. Bournemouth, I believe they won their first game. We'll check that out in a second. Uh, so they're actually on some good form. Played 1-1-1. One, one, one. That is some good form. Dynamics are going to be good for them. Go out there and impress me, lads. But overall, Bournemouth, they can't be that good. Surely, can they? I mean, they've been in the Premier League for a long time now. They're like 10, 11 seasons in. Throw some encouragement out there. And they're still in the Premier League. Uh, we see. We see how well we get on. I thought we had a really good display against Tottenham. I think we... Off the crossbar again. Just crazy. Um, I think we should have beaten Tottenham, personally. I think we should have beaten them. Should have come away with the three points. Then that would have been a really, really good start. Like I say, yeah, they must have won their first game because they're up, right up there. Good interception. Lacking on the pass in front, though. Brito to Van Comer. Pass it back to Cortez. To Maggio. Fuentes. Finds. Berquin, who just... A couple of little touches, puts in the back of the net. Do we need a striker? Do we need a striker? Do I need to spend £30 million on a striker? Um, So far, I don't know. He, he scored. So, <laughs> I still don't know if he... Still, when I look at him, is he good enough? He's got the pace. I don't know why I'm whispering for. He's got the pace. He's got acceleration. He's got everything. Um, Yeah, and even the finish. Good finish. Off the post. Phil Bourne might feel they're a little bit hard done by. Got loads of possession. We just need to make something happen with it. I mean, we have made something happen. We're one no up. I mean, we want more chances. We want two. We want to put this game to bed. I don't know what the throw. I don't know what encouragement. We're winning. Don't want to encourage them. 
I'm pleased with their performance. Well, I'm not really pleased with it. I mean, we're one nil up, but we're not creating nothing. Two chances. Two, oh, two chances, two goals. Nearly spoke too soon. I'm liking it. I'm going to throw some praise out there. Second goal before half time. Ibra. Joanda Fuentes. Tries to bend at top corner. Just can't do it. He's had a long term injury. Broke his lower leg or something. I don't think I ever mentioned it. He was out for six to nine months. And uh, yeah, so I've really got to look after him. I don't really want to push him too much because he's first time back from that long term injury. And I've just got to just nurse him back into it. They're having a lot, a lot of chances, Bournemouth. A lot of chances. Defensively, Van Comer. I will bring Newell on though, because just the. Uh, Lanz Why am I clicking Lanzini? I don't want Lanzini. Newell. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Do I need. That's a really dilemma. It's down Newell or not. £30 million pounds sounds like a lot of money. It is a lot of money off the crossbar. And yeah, we're only going to get half that though, 55%. Would that be enough money to buy a top tier striker? Yeah. So yeah, it's food for thought. The problem being, if I could find one, I would do it. But actually, that should be the, that should be the thing. If I can find a striker for 15 million, that's top tier, sell Newell. If I can't, don't sell Newell. That makes more sense, Tony. Let's pause it there. They've been very, very good, Bournemouth. They just can't seem to finish. And I hope they're not going to do what Tottenham did against us and score a late goal. What am I thinking? Who's nervous? The right back's nervous. I'm thinking about what changes. And I'm not too sure. I'm actually, let's bring Domingos on. I'm sure about that. DiMaggio. I'm going to need another defensive midfielder. I'm going to need another defensive midfielder. Nani actually is, um, is, it, and Nani is injured. That's why he's not on the bench. Uh, so I've got three decent defensive midfielders. But if we're going to play two all the time, really four just for cover. Because I've got no one on the bench when one of them gets injured. And we are going to change the right back. Aslin. Natalami Aslin. We will go with him. Decent player. 17, 16 minutes to go. We just get just get another goal. Just so we can just relax for the last bit of this game. He does it again. I don't know. I think he might be he might be good. He might be special. And then again, he might go missing for 10 games. Let's just let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see. Like I say, if I can get someone for 15 million, get him in the door, look like he's gonna come, then then delay it, then then I will let Newell go left back. But if I can't find a strike for 15 million, then it's no point. Just leave it as it is. Leave it as it is. Now we're starting to play. We're starting to be the better team. I think Bournemouth have had enough now. They've like, what can we do? We can't do anything. They have a couple of chances and they score. We've been having loads of chances. Fuentes just puts his laces through it. 3-0. And I'm loving life. <laughs> I am loving life. No corner goals, but all the chances seem to be coming from corners. Throw in this time. They've left the action to the last 10 minutes. Hat trick. Let's just stop talking about strikers. We don't need one. We've got a real decent striker. That's it. Enough talking about strikers. I love the fact now we've had 12 shots to their 12 as well. Oh my God. The pressing's immense. We're just closing them down. No. No. Oh. <laughs> Straight from kickoff. I was like, no way. We're not going to score. We're not going to score. Or are we? Because it's still ongoing. Dominguez. DiMaggio. He's just. He's just at the post. He's on fire. The guy is on fire. The guy is absolutely on fire. Struggling to meet the pace of the match. Oh, God. I think I made all three subs. Three, five. It's more than three today. Who knows how many subs you can make? Because sometimes, I swear, it just changes every single time. And I'm looking at the rest of the players. Who else do I want to bring on? 
Lang. I'm trying to train Lang to play defence midfield support. Uh, just because I can't see there's going to be a position for him. Tackle of nine. It's not that bad. Work rates are right. Straps should be okay in that. It would have been like to do a bit more. Uh, should I put Lanzini on? He's got loads of potential. Murphy's had a good game for a change. 6.90. That is a good game for, for Murphy. So don't you go thinking 6.90 is not good. It is. Crossbar. How many times does it... Yeah, I don't know, but how many times in real life does it hit the crossbar like that and just fall into the box? It doesn't... As many times. It's been about five times in this game. It doesn't happen. Corner comes over. Nothing happened. Their keeper's an absolute mare of a 5.9. But I think their biggest problem is this. No shots on target. No shots on target. Good percentage-wise for us. 62%. 14 shots. 8 on target. A good performance overall, and I'm loving the greenness. I'm loving it. Makes a bloody change that we played really well, and played really well on camera as well. That's the main thing. You've seen it. You've seen it. Third place. Third place. Just gonna say that now. Third place. We're gonna go all the way. We're gonna win the. We're gonna win the league. When are we coming back? Let's do a tough one. Chelsea and Newcastle. Oh my God, Newcastle and Liverpool. What is this? What is this running here? This is absolutely out of the hell. We can get anything out of these four games. If we can get anything out of these, we, we're on for something special. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back when it will be Chelsea and Newcastle. That's it from me. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next episode. See you then.